5.3 number 7 find all the solutions and again they want the answer in radians so one of the problems is I have two different trig functions and there's no way to isolate them so I'm gonna take the sine squared and replace it with 1 minus cosine squared of x but I didn't do anything to this cosine and I didn't do anything to this one. So now I have negative cosine squared of x, positive cosine of x, and then I have two positive ones. Now I don't know how it works for you, but I do not like my first term of the quadratic to be negative, so I'm gonna flip everything. So I'm going to switch the sign on every term, and then we'll look at factoring. So I need a cosine of x here, and a cosine of x here. I'm going to put a 2 and a 1 in. Now to get a negative cosine, I have two cosine of x here, and I have a cosine of x here. So I need this one to be negative, and this one to be positive. So that would be the factoring that you need. Now, setting those two things equal to zero, add the two to the other side, and then the other one, subtract the one to the other side. Now here, the cosine of x is never two on the unit circle, so it's too big, so there are no solutions from this one. And then this one, when you look at when is when is the cosine negative one, that's over on the left hand side of the unit circle. So look at your unit circle. What's the angle on the left hand side? Go ahead and type in the radian for that one. So make sure you do the radian measure for where cosine is negative 1.